You're probably reading online reviews, asking your friends for their advice and learning all the manufacturer specs. But you've probably seen a lot of buyer's remorse and comments from people wishing they had bought something different. Wouldn't it be great to learn all the nightmares to avoid up front so they don't happen to you? In this new series, that's exactly what we're gonna do. We'll show you the common and uncommon pitfalls and mistakes in every category from starting a project to delivering without the several different types of damage that can happen to your home. You can make mistakes from buying a dishwasher and you really don't need to because there are a lot of good brands and models you can buy. Here are the three biggest mistakes we've seen others make. First relates to the myth of quietness. At a certain level, you're spending more than you should for an extra quiet dishwasher. In this video, you'll learn how to buy a quiet dishwasher without overspending. Second is only looking at Miele Bosch and KitchenAid brands when another brand may suit you. Third is panelizing a dishwasher with a custom front because it's an issue as well with many dishwashers. If you're gonna panel, then we'll show you how to make it look good. 44 decibels is the standard for quietness. Anything lower is not really detectable. The difference in price between 44 and 37 decibels can be over $1,000. And the difference between 44 and 40 can be over 500. It's okay if you wanna spend that money on other features like better racking or drying. But for quietness, 44 decibels is fine, even if your kitchen is open to your living room. On the other hand, you don't have to buy an extremely loud dishwasher to save money either. Anything over 50 decibels will be loud. This Becco is 48 decibels and it's 599. 48 is not the standard, but it's not that loud either. Or you can do what I do, which is basically put your dishwasher on before you go to bed so it doesn't matter as long as the bedroom is away from your kitchen. What if I told you this dishwasher has special sprays to power out that gunk out of your sports bottles? and 40 special sprays just for silverware. It's the only dishwasher with a grinder instead of a filter at the bottom that meets that 44 decibel quietness standard. If I asked you what brand, you'll probably say Bosch or KitchenAid, but it's the new profile. This dishwasher uses steam to reduce spotting and speed out drying. Steam also powers out baked in stains. I use this dishwasher at my neighbors with my daughter's baked in macaroni and cheese and it actually works. The dishwasher even has the lowest repair rate ever recorded by any appliance in the first year, based on our internal repair records of over 40,000 service calls last year. You probably guessed Miele, but it's actually LG. Miele, Bosch, and KitchenAid are all great dishwashers that people bought mostly out of reputational reflex since I started Yale in 1986. During the pandemic, these good products had availability issues, and we found out that the alternatives like Profile, Becco, and LG were actually good dishwashers. So when you go shopping, consider all the brands, buy the best features for the way you wash your dishes, because there's more than just three good brands. If you want to place a pan on your dishwasher, many brands have a few models. If you want it to look like a seamless cabinet rather than a dishwasher with a panel stuck on it, protruding from the cabinet, then you have way fewer options. American style dishwashers like KitchenAid, Profile, Cafe, and Electrolux will protrude past your cabinet will look not that good. Stick to the European style like Bosch, Beko, Miele, and Asco so it will fit in with the rest of your cabinets and actually look nice. To learn about the best dishwashers, check out this video here. And thanks for watching.